So for our true story from the Word of God today, we have one of the strangest stories in all of Scripture. But just like everything else in the Word of God, it's all completely true. Well, the children of Israel have been traveling through the wilderness, as we've been talking about, and they've been being led by God. Well, finally, they go and they camp in the fields of Moab across from the Jordan River. Well, there's a king in the land of Moab, and his name is Balak. And Balak is scared to death. He's shaken in his boots because of the children of Israel. You see, he's heard about what God has been doing with him. He's been protecting them. He's been leading them. Uh, and their enemies have been being defeated by the Israelites. He doesn't want the same thing to happen to he and his people. So he sends for a pagan priest by the name of Balaam. He says, Balaam, please go curse the children of Israel. Because I know that whoever you curse, something bad's going to happen to them. Well, Balaam's about to do what's been asked of him when God appears to Balaam. And he says, Balaam, no, you are not to go and to curse my people. Well, Balaam decides eventually he's going to go anyway. And as he's along his way, he's riding a donkey. And that donkey starts to act really, really strangely. Well, first the donkey veers off into a field. Balaam gets mad and whips the donkey to get the donkey back on the road. And then the donkey goes the other way into a wall. And Balaam gets mad and whips the donkey to make the donkey go the right way. Finally, the donkey just stops in the road, crouches down, and won't go a step further. Well, this makes Balaam really mad, and he starts to whip the donkey, but then God opens the mouth of the donkey, and the donkey starts to speak to Balaam and says, Balaam, why have you whipped me these three times? Aren't I the same donkey that's been with you all these years and taken you where you need to go? <laughs> and then, even funnier, Balaam talks back to the donkey, well, you're making me look like a fool. Finally, God opens Balaam's eyes, and he realizes that this entire time, there's been an angel of the Lord in the way, and that donkey has been protecting Balaam's life. Well, God speaks to Balaam and says, Balaam, you are going to go to my children Israel, but you're not going to curse them. You're going to bless them, and you're only going to say exactly what I tell you to say, and that's exactly what happens. You see, Balaam goes up, and as he's speaking over Israel, he says the things that God would have him to say. And one of those things is this, a star shall come out of Jacob, a scepter shall rise out of Israel. You see, God has just used this pagan priest to point the children of Israel to the coming Messiah, Jesus, who's gonna come some 1400 years later. You see, God can use whatever he wants to point us to Jesus. Maybe God's using the circumstance that you're in right now. Maybe he's using your mom and your dad, a family member, a brother, a sister. He's probably using his word, but he uses all those things to point us to Jesus. And may God use whatever he wants in this time to point you and your family to who Jesus is. Blessings.